Hello, it's Christina from the Wild Rift team. Now that we've been in open beta for a few weeks in certain regions, we wanted to check in. We'll start by sharing more of our upcoming plans and then we'll take a quick look back at 2020. But first, a huge welcome from the Wild Rift team to select players in Europe, Russia and CIS, Turkey, Taiwan, Oceania, Vietnam, the Middle East, and North Africa, who will be getting access to Wild Rift over the next few days. It's exciting to bring new regions online because players always find ways to show us things we've never seen before. We're looking forward to seeing what new comps, strategies, and outplays you come up with. And for those of you that are still waiting, we know it's hard, but we are listening to your feedback. Even if you don't have access yet, we need to know what you think so we can keep improving Wild Rift and make it the best game it can be when it releases in your region. So we've got a brand new patch coming soon featuring a ton of great stuff. Darius and Draven are coming to Wild Rift in our first canon lore event, Noxian Brotherhood. You'll be able to complete event missions to learn what happens when two of Noxus's most prolific figures get into a quarrel. Darius, one of the commanders of the Noxian army, is a fighter who excels in the solo lane, using his ultimate to execute enemies and fully resetting its cooldown if he gets a kill. And as for his Reckoner brother, Draven's Marksman's mechanics styles on his opponents, throwing and bouncing spinning axes, and is rewarded for taking aggressive risks. Wukong the Monkey King is also making his debut on Wild Rift. Wukong is a fighter that can clone himself and sneak around to take down prime targets. His disruptive playstyle will undoubtedly add some chaos to team fights. The beta ranked season is ending soon, and you'll get a small token from us if you've played ranked in the open beta, and a lobby emblem for the highest rank you achieved. And of course, we've got a couple of skins and other goodies on their way. a quick look back at 2020. This year has been pretty incredible for our team. Just over a year ago, we announced Wild Rift at the League of Legends 10-year anniversary. Since then, we've run several tests across the world, opened the game up to millions of players, created a really fun trailer for the game, and introduced KDA to Wild Rift. 2020 has also been a bit rough. I think that our team has a lot of resilience, but like everyone, we were pretty rocked by the challenges that 2020 brought. We had to adapt to being apart. We weren't able to ship everything we wanted at the right time. And we had our first taste of what it's like to be live at scale. But through it all, it's been your passion and feedback that continues to motivate us. So from all of us, really thank you. And before we leave, we wanted to show you a few more things that are coming up in the near future. Going into 2021, we'll be doing more with the League of Legends PC team. We'll be working on simultaneous events, joint announcements, and shared thematics. We don't want to spoil too much right now, but you can expect to hear more about it in January alongside the start of the first official Wild Rift ranked season. Finally, in just a few weeks, we'll introduce some of League's most noted champions in our biggest event so far. If you notice Teemo in our trailer and are wondering where he's been, well, let's see where the low roads take him on his journey next, and maybe some of his friends will join him too. We hope you're excited to see what's coming up. We've had the best time making it. Have a great holiday season, stay safe, and we'll see you next year.